Yo, what's going on guys? So today, I'm going to be showing you how to um, download Baki's mod. It's real simple. Anyone can do it. It's free, so... Um, and it's, yeah, like I said, it's really simple. So, what Baki's mod is, for those of you that are too sure, it's kind of like where you can just change your game. Um, so, like you see, I have all the alpha stuff or whatever, and I don't actually own these, but with Baki's mod, I can change the way my car looks and no one else will see it it's only me but um that's one of the cool things about it is you can have whatever you want on your car um another thing is is when you score a goal a terrible goal like that uh instead of the camera being far out you'll actually get the person's perspective so like if we're doing passing plays or whatever it switches in between each person it's really cool and there's a ton of applications for it it's not only these little things um, so I'll just show you guys how to download it real quick and then we'll get into some of the things you can do with it. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and type in Baki's mod on your computer. And it should just be the first one that pops up. You can either click download or just Baki's mod. You can click Baki's mod, it just says download now. And then you just click here to download. So that's all you're going to have to do is just click that and down here you'll see it says Baki's mod injector zip. Now, if we show in folder, you'll see Baki's Mod Injector. Now, um, you can use 7-Zip, I believe. Yeah. But, or you can use WinWar, whatever one you want. But let me show you guys how to download both real quick. All you're going to do is type in WinRAR online. And... It'll pop up 5.8. Currently, it's not available in English. I looked through this. Didn't. Oh, there is English. Never mind. I did not see that the first time I looked. So there's English on the 5.8. That's the beta version. I just normally use this one. It works the same. Sometimes better since it's not in beta. But you can download 32 or 64 bit. Um, my 64 bit. Just go ahead and download that. And you just want to show in folder. And you'll see right here. That's the WinRAR. You just want to right click that. And. Uh, since I already have WinRAR downloaded, it shows me all these extract files. But just on your thing, it'll just say extract files, click that, and then you'll have WinRAR. And if you don't want to use WinRAR, you can also use 7 zip. And it'll be this one right here. You can download for Windows 32 bit, 64 bit, download. Kind of the th same thing here. It's right there. And then you're just going to go ahead and click that, go through all the steps, and it'll be installed. So, right, once you have all those things, you just want to click your Baki's Mod Injector, that little arrow, show in folder, and it'll be your Baki's Mod Injector 3. So, like I said earlier, all you do is just click Extract Files or something, um, and then just click OK. I already did it with the other one on 7-Zip. Uh, it's the exact same process, and you're just going to have it right here, Baki's Mod Injector. You won't have the three. I've just downloaded it a couple times. Um, but we're just going to click that, and then Baki's Mod. So all you're going to do is double-click that. Checking for updates. If it has an update, sometimes you're going to have to request, uh, restart Rocket League and stuff, and it'll just automatically say, there's an update, do you want to do this? Um, I'd recommend clicking yes, because you always want to keep this up to date. So then, it says injected, that's because my Rocket League's already open, if your Rocket League's not open, you're just going to have to open it, and it'll inject it, and then press F2 in-game for options menu, I'm going to show you guys what that means now. Alrighty guys, so let's go back to the main menu here. So, now to see if it worked, you just press F2, and you will see, you have all the, uh, all these little things, whatever pose mean you know so I'm just gonna quickly go through some of these um, these are all so these are for custom training if you want no variance then that's just like it just does the normal shots or whatever but these will like change um, so like if the shot on the custom training is on the right and it's throwing it to the left then sometimes it'll change it on the left throwing it to the right and it changes that that's kind of cool um, these modes are for free play we'll get to those in a second now this is where it's cool. So enable item mods. You just click that because uh, normally I think it's off. So you just click it, and then you can change whatever you want. They literally have like every single item in the game. I, I just use all the alpha stuff. I like the alpha stuff. So um, yeah, and again, no one else will be able to see it. So you can just change it to whatever you want. And 
whatever this and then this will be what people actually see like your normal car but yeah that's really cool um then let's see current game oh this is just for if you want to change stuff and uh i think this would be like a private match or something or maybe uh free play i don't know i haven't really used this one too much but i can't use it now since we're not on free play or something but free play enable goal scoring if you don't want it to explode when it goes in the goal color car color flip indicator i use this one a lot that's just like tells you when you don't have a flip anymore it changes the car's color so that's kind of cool so how much boost you use use normal stadium colors uh which is like blue and orange use normal car color so you actually see this color um, unlimited flips if you want that show goal score speed I'll do use that and automatic limit boost if you want to use that oh and you guess you can change the jump sounds uh, custom training use free play map for custom training uh, that's you know pretty self-explanatory uh, enable automatic mirroring I haven't really used too much of these ones um, if you guys want to you can oh this one's cool Goal block editor. So I'll show you guys actually this one in a little bit once we get into a custom training because that one's really cool. Um, ranked show MMR, which is kind of your like skill number. Um, the higher rank you are, the higher your number. Um, it doesn't matter too much for us lower ranks. I still use it. I just like knowing. Um, but on the higher ranks, that kind of determines where you're placed in like the top hundred or whatever. Of players because the higher the MMR the higher you're up and this is all just showing MMR showing MMR uh, you use April Fools ranked icons you guys know that if you played back in on April Fools uh, use POV goal replays so this one I love to use that's what I was talking about in free play when like the camera shows the person and what they saw automatic say GG you can have that on I'm so used to just typing it GG or whatever so I, uh, I'll always do it twice. Um, you can, you can automatically save rank replays, not have to save all replays. So now we'll go into auto anonymizer. Now this is if you want to be anonymous, you can hide your rank information, uh, switch to quick chat only during kickoff, um, high scoreboard information, hide forfeit votes, use bot names. Hide forfeit votes is sometimes nice if you're doing like, uh, like a single or so, uh, solo queuing, sorry, in like twos or something, your teammate keeps forfeiting. If you don't want to see that, you can just click that on and never anonymize cars. So miscellaneous, um, just some different things you can do. I don't know too much about this. Um, draw FPS counter, I use that. It's over here. Equip alpha boost. I already have the alpha boost, so. And just some different things through here that you can change. Bindings, if you want to change how to ch like get into here, you can do if you don't want F2. Uh, and then these are just for the quick settings and stuff. Alrighty guys, so now I'm just going to kind of show you some of the things in free play. So, the first thing was that flip. You'll see as soon as I flip, there's that pink. And once I get it back, it changes back to my normal car color. And it's just kind of useful also for like um, flip resets to practice or whatever you'll know if you got it like there I didn't because it's still pink but yeah that's kind of nice and then you'll see all of my alpha stuff is working it works in game too it's not only practice um let's see what other things there I don't know if it'll show okay yeah it does so you can see how much boost you're using See, it just keeps going up to show you how much boost you use and whatever. Um, I don't really use this one too much. That's one of the things you can use. Um, the unlimited flips. And then what, if you turn that off in the game, you're going to have limited boost, but... Yeah, now as you can see... I just have unlimited flip. It's kind of fun just to mess around, you know, if you want to just have some fun or something. Turn that off. I'm going to, yeah, 
all that stuff. Um, now the thing I really want to show you guys is just custom training. So we're just gonna go into let's just say this. So as you guys can see, there's just a normal goal there. Right, if we go into custom training, enable goal blocker, and let's just say we throw it like that. Okay. So yeah. So where I placed the uh, goal blocker, now you'll see that there's orange stuff all around the goal except for the middle. And then there's that variant stuff I was talking about. I'll try the no variance. And then that should be good. So now, in order to uh, make it... So I don't know if this is a new thing in Rock League, because I've also just seen this happening when I don't even have the thing open. But, okay. So, right, so as you can see, that normally would have gone in. But instead, it hits that goal blocker and it sends it straight to the ground. So this really helps with, uh, like, pr uh, precision shots. If you want to get better with that, you can really just change. Because um, each time you change it, like the gold blocker, if you clear it, whatever. And let's say you want like a hole here, a hole here, and like a hole right here. If that's what you want, you're just gonna have to restart the training. That way, then, once you restart, as you can see, now you have your holes there, and you gotta try and uh, get it in those small holes. So this is a lot of fun to do, um, and it's also a really good way to practice, I think. And this is one of my favorite things about this. So yeah, that's that. Let's see what other things we can do. Ranked. Um, show them our... I don't really know how to explain it. Um, because I don't really feel like going into a whole game right now. If we go into... Oh, where is it? Career. If we go to, like, League Rankings. So you'll see, like, this skill rating. This is what, uh, the MMR is. Mine's right now like a thousand ninety five or something. I don't know what diamond is, but well, I guess plat two and ones mainly because I never played ones, but like diamond two, uh, and you can see like grand champion. This is when it actually starts to show up. But in Baki's mod, you can just see whatever you are, and also if you go to play online, it'll tell you right here ten sixty five. That's mine. Um, and then like here, 10.45. Uh, so that's your MMR. That kind of just shows you where you rank compared to other people. Um, and that's, those are kind of like the main things, I think, about Boxing Mod. You guys can go ahead and explore it for yourself. Hopefully this helps you in some way. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.